Good morning and happy Friday to you. Hope you got a great weekend planned. It is Friday, May the 10th, 2024 at 6.05 a.m. And this morning with the breakfast biscuit, we'll be in the book of Proverbs chapter 9, verse 17, with the title of the biscuit being, Ain't Worth It. So that'll make sense by the time we're through, and I hope you'll remember that. Uh, for your weather this morning, 71 degrees on the way to 87 for a high, partly cloudy, not much chance of rain, north-northeast winds. Uh, to 10 miles an hour. Oh, and by the way, while you're making plans for your weekend, if you are in the Golden Triangle area, let me invite you to join us at SeaTex Church at our home in the Hollow Dome on Walden Road at 10 a.m. This Mother's Day, we will be giving each mom a little token of our love and appreciation, and we will be dedicating a baby dedication Sunday. We will be dedicating 13 babies and their parents to the Lord uh, with and and it's just going to be a wonderful day, and uh, I hope you'll join us for that. And let me ask you, if you don't mind, pass the biscuits, uh, like, and follow, and subscribe. We've been stuck at 4,900 and something followers for quite a while. Uh, spread the biscuit. Pass the biscuits around. Like and follow. Please spread the love. So back to uh, Ain't Worth It from Proverbs nine seventeen and following. I hate thieves. I hate them. Just hate thieves. So does the government. They don't like the competition. <laughs> That's funny right there. I don't care who you are. Uh, so I have lost quite a bit to thieves, and I'm not happy about it. Lost a four-wheeler, the trailer that the four-wheeler was on, multiple rods and reels, uh, a Yeti cooler out of the back of my truck, and uh, and have never had a chance to give back to those lovely people uh, what they deserve. So... Uh, let's just leave it at that. Thieves are low lives. They're dishonorable. They're lazy and they're stupid and they want to avoid work. They want things that they didn't earn. And if they don't mind taking something from someone that worked hard for it and perhaps really needed or treasured it, they just, they don't care and they can never enjoy it. Why can they never enjoy it? Listen to what the Bible says. Stolen water is refreshing food eaten in secret taste the best, but little do they know that the dead are there. Her guests are in the depths of the grave. Not only if you steal something, do you have to watch over your shoulder for the rest of your life. You never know who may turn you in or rat on you because there is no honor among thieves. And even if your anxious, nervous self makes it to death without being discovered, you will still have to face Jehovah, and he already knows. So I think some good uh, counsel for us today in light of that passage of Scripture is let's mind our own beeswax, be content with what we have, and let's not think that we're so important that we can take what the other guy worked for because there's a reckoning coming. Let me pray for us. Father, we come to you this morning thankful for the uh, counsel that you give us, the commandments that you give us, the correction that you give us, Father, help us to uh, be content with such things as we have. Lord, we pray that we would not steal from you in tithes and offerings. We pray we would not steal by cheating or by any other method. And Father, we pray that we might be an example in all things that we do and say uh, of living your way, a holy life for your glory and for the blessing of your people. Father, bless these, my brothers and sisters, today as they begin their day. Give us a great weekend in your house, and we pray it in Jesus' name. Amen. So, may the Lord bless you and keep you and cause his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you, and may the Lord turn his face toward you and give you peace. And remember, as always, I love you, I'm praying for you, and I'll see you right back here bright and early Monday morning. God bless you.